This is the part 3 video of Phylums of Animal Kingdom. In this video, we will talk about the germ layers. So, what is a germ layer? Germ layer is a group of cells in the embryo which will give rise to a particular layer in the adult body. Such as, here I have drawn a group of cell called ectoderm. This ectodermic layer in the embryo will give rise to the outer layer of the adult animal. In human, it is skin and hair. So, the ectodermic layer forms the outer portion of an adult animal. And the most inner layer, that is the digestive system wall, is made up of a different kinds of cells. This group of cell is called endoderm. It forms basically the digestive tube and the organs associated with the digestive system. There is another group of cells between ectoderm and endoderm. Those kind of cells are called mesoderm. These are not present in all the phylums of the animal kingdom. So, there are two types of animals, diploblastic and triploblastic. Diploblastics are those animals who do not have the mesodermic cellular layer. So they have ectoderm, endoderm, but they do not have mesoderm. In the place of mesoderm, they have a non-cellular layer. No specific germ layer is found in Polyphera as they have cellular level of organization. The germ layers form the tissue. So this diploblastic germ layer is found in Cnidaria and Tyrophora phylum of animal kingdom. They have ectoderm and endoderm and in between ectoderm and endoderm is the non-cellular layer and here it is called mesoglia. So the triploblastic is done. The triploblastic animals. Triploblastic animals have all the three germ layers. The ectoderm, the endoderm and also the mesodermic germ layer that is mesoderm cells. So these animals are called triploblastic animals. So this type of germ layer can be found from platyhelminthes to chordates. All of them are triploblastic. But there are three type of mesodermal cellular layer distribution seen in the animal kingdom. The first type is the mesoderm fills up the whole cavity between the ectoderm and endoderm. So there is no space left. The space inside the body that is between ectoderm and endoderm is called coelom. So there is no space left that means no coelom is present and that is why the animals having this kind of germ layers will be called acelomates. Though Porifera have no specific germ layer, but still they do not have any body cavity. They do not have any space between the visceral and parietal layer of their body. That's why they are called acelomates. In Cnidaria and Tinophora, they do not have mesodermic layer, but still they do not have any space between ectoderm and endoderm. So, no body cavity. That's why they are also called acelomates. The platyhelminthes, they have all the three germ layers. They have ectoderm, they have endoderm and they also have mesoderm. But there is no space between the visceral and parietal layer that is ectoderm and endoderm. All the space is filled by the mesodermic cellular layer. That's why they do not have any space and they are called acelomates. Another type of mesodermal distribution is there is mesodermal layer but there is cavity present inside the body. But this cavity is surrounded by mesodermic cellular layer but they are scattered. They are not continuous. So here body cavity is present which is surrounded by the mesodermal cellular layer but it is not continuous. That's why it is called pseudocelome and the animals pseudocelomates. Pseudocelome germ layer distribution is found 
in the Askelminthes. Askelminthes is that phylum of the animal kingdom where we can see the pseudocoelomate germ layer distribution. So they have coelom that is body cavity which is surrounded by mesodermal cell layers but they are scattered. Now the third type of germ layer distribution is the true coelom. In this case the germ layers have ectoderm, they have endoderm and they have space between the ectoderm and endoderm that is body cavity. But the space or the body cavity or the coelom is surrounded by mesodermal cell layer completely and this is continuous cell layer covering. So the mesodermal cell layers are covering the whole coelom. This type of coelom is called eucelom or true coelom and the animals are called coelomates or eucelomates that means having true coelom. So this eucelom or true coelom is found in all the phylums from Annelida up to the Chordata. All of them are eucelomates that means they have true coelom. The coelom that is surrounded by the mesodermal cell layers and thus called true coelom or eucelom. And the animals are called coelomates or eucelomates. The coelom both in the eucelomates and pseudocoelomates, the coelom is filled with fluids. In the next video, we will talk about the circulatory, digestive, excretory etc. systems of the phylums.